Hi guys, it's Matt from Max on UK, and in this last bottle tutorial, we are going to be looking at adding the caps, the label, and putting liquid into our bottle. Now, there are a few different ways of doing this, but I'm just going to show you, you know, maybe some of the easier ways that I would do things. So to start with, I'm going to start on the sort of metallic foil cap that you find on the top of a wine bottle. Now, I'm going to utilize the spline that we already have here, so I'm just going to copy and paste a new version. I'm just going to get rid of that texture. I'm going to hide that one, and then I'm going to go to our side view. Okay, and turn off our lathe just so we can only be editing what we need to. And then it's going to be a case of getting rid of a whole load of points that we don't need. So, do 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 do, getting rid of those. Um, we can just simply cheat and move that one to zero. And then I'm going to get rid of that as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these ever so slightly up. And then I'm going to select these and move them ever so slightly out. And that should give me a little bit more of an outline. I'm just going to add in another point there um, by pressing command let's try control by holding down control and shift and that gives me an extra point I'm just going to do that again but curve that just ever so slightly there we go so that should give us a little bit of an outline so turning on the lathe back on and turning the other lathe back on there we go we've got this a nice outline there that could work as one of those caps okay and again you just need to apply a relatively easy material to it so I can create one uh, so new material let's make it red because they always seem to be the sort of off red don't they um, I might just lower the specular a bit but increase the strength and drag and drop it not going to look particularly wonderful in this render but uh, it's not too bad there okay there we go so that's how to do the cap obviously you can spend a little bit more time texturing than I have just there um, and now the label so there are a few different ways of doing a label you could get uh, a cube or something and then you could wrap it around using a wrap deformer you could create a standard texture uh, like this and you could apply it to the bottle you could apply it cylindrically you could stop it from tiling and then you could lower its height and then you can offset it you know you could make it really really small oops so maybe its height is only 10 centimeters and then you can go back to its offset and you can adjust it and there quite quickly you've got something that you could use as a label so you know you could uh, let's shrink that even further okay and then you can add your own texture into there making sure that you know the correct dimensions so offset you know whether or not you want it further up further down that's one way of doing it, which doesn't work too badly. Another way of doing it would be to potentially take a copy of this render, of uh, this uh, lathe, and then if I was to just turn these off, I could make this editable. Um, and then I will loop select these polygons and then I shall invert my selection that gives me a loop all the way around and then I can select the polygons that I will no longer need so maybe half of them maybe just slightly more than half turn everything else back on and I've got a relatively small label oh, and then I can scale that up and down I could add a white texture to it and then 
I could select the polygons. Uh, and then ever so slightly, ever so slightly, extrude. Just to give that label some thickness, maybe even 0 0.05, half of that again. Just to give the label some thickness. And that will allow you to sort of have something that will work really nicely with that bottle. And then you can just scale it up and down and rotate it around on your model, depending on where you need it. Okay, so that's how I would do that. Okay, so to do the internal liquid, then I'm going to use this transparent bottle just so that you can see the liquid on the inside much easier. Um, it's going to be done in a very similar fashion to the way that we did the cap in the other. So we're going to use the spline. I'm just going to change the transparency settings here so it's a bit clearer to see. Okay, and then I'm going to create a copy of this. And then I'm just going to hide that so that we've only got this one. And then I'm going to turn off the lathe nerves and I'm going to look at my side view. So the good thing is, is that we already have this outer line already, which should fit where our you know, inner bottle will be. And we're just going to select the outer ones that we don't need and delete. Okay, and then holding control and shift, I'm just going to create a new point right there and I'm just going to make sure that that's at zero. Now sometimes this might cause just the tiniest bit of clipping on the inside so what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to move them in like an absolute fraction and then same with these I'm just going to move them up a fraction as well so that we've got no touching when that lathe is recreated. So there we go, that can be our liquid. So if I was just to create another new material, which I shall use as a liquid, just get rid of the color, I shall get rid of the reflectance as well, because that's largely going to be done by the bottle on the outside. And then I'm going to give it a nice, simple water texture, um, refraction, and drag and drop that to that lathe nerves. Okay, now if I unhide this completely we should have you know something that looks like it's got a bottle uh, a bottle of water in it and then just to give us a quick physical sky so that we can have some nice light and a background I'm just going to add in ambient occlusion and global illumination and do a quick render so let's close all of this and render to see how it looks Okay, so that is indeed incredibly clear. Um, you know, it's, it's a wonderfully clear uh, water, so maybe if we just added a floor, we might be able to see a little bit more with the scenery. So let's just do another quick render. Okay, that's not too bad. That, you know, gives us some interesting refraction, uh, refraction around the centre. Let's see what this looks like in our wine bottle. So because I know that I've got my lathe there and it will fit, I shall just copy that. Let's go to our other bottle there and I can just paste that straight in and we should get this internal structure there. Um, let's create ourselves, let's adjust this material a bit. So let's make it a nice sort of deep red like you'd expect sort of a dark wine to be. And then what I might do is just adjust my textures on here. So let's have a look at that reflection. What I might do is add in a reflection tag and then whack the roughness up quite a lot, but allow the two to sort of merge together so that you get this nice rough material. And then I shall add in our physical sky. And then let's see how we go with a render. So again, add in ambient occlusion and global illumination. And maybe, let's just have a look at the side view of that, where that bottle, that wine's gonna be quite high. So what I might do is just adjust those points a little bit 
So I'm going to bring that down. And then just shift that out and then bring that wine line down. So we might be able to see inside that. So let's just do a quick render with our settings on. OK, here we go. OK, not bad at all. You can see that it's quite faint, but you can see that we have got this dark red sort of material coming through in the glass there. You might be able to, you know, adjust the transparency of your wine glass, depending how much of wine bottle, depending on how much you actually want to see. OK. Well, I hope that was a useful set of tutorials for you in the creation of bottles, adding of labels and filling your bottle with water or liquid. And I will catch you next time.